Hi there, and welcome to the second part of our series where we'll talk about the smaller, lesser known, but absolutely beautiful towns in Italy. We're going to tell you about places that are off the beaten path, and today we're featuring the sunny and beautiful little town of Atrani. Atrani is a town on the Amalfi Coast in the province of Salerno in the Campania region of southwestern Italy. It is located in the south of Amalfi, less than half a mile, and just a short drive from the coast. It is the smallest city in southern Italy, and in fact, in 2010, it was estimated that the local population of Atrani was only 900 people. Nobody's really sure how or when Atrani started out, but archaeologists have discovered ruins from the 1st century AD, and Roman villas are known to have existed along the Amalfi Coast that were covered in debris and ash from the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. The first documented proof of the existence of Atrani can only be found in a letter by Pope Gregory I to Bishop Pimentio of Amalfi, which was dated 596 AD. Nowadays, Atrani is known for its Mediterranean climate, with its mild and rainy winters and summers that are only moderately hot. It is often very sunny and almost never foggy. This charming little town is a great place to visit for those who would like to get away from the crowds. Besides being away from traffic, the crowds here are also much lighter, even during the busy summer months. Other than its quiet beaches and delicious food, Atrani also has several lovely churches and places of interest that are worth a visit. The first is the Church of Mary Magdalene, which was founded in 1274 on the ruins of a medieval fortress. Over the centuries, it has undergone a lot of restoration, and today, visitors can find many beautiful statues and paintings placed on its various side chapels, including the famous sculpture, the Madonna Shepherdess, from 1789 as well as the incredulity of St. Thomas, which was made by the 16th century artist Salerno Andrea Sabatini. Next, we have the Torre del Ziro, which is a fortress on Mont Aureo, which overlooks the town of Amalfi and Atrani. Once again, its exact date of construction is unknown, but research suggests that it was built in the 15th century. Here you could find turrets, as well as the ruins of an old castle. There is an interesting story behind its construction, where it is said that Joan the Mad, or Joan of Aragon, the illegitimate daughter of Henry's illegitimate son, Ferdinand I of Aragon, was having an affair with a commoner. In order to cover the scandal, she was imprisoned by her brothers in this tower, along with her children, and they were starved to death. Her story had inspired many tragic novels, including one by the famous Italian writer Matteo Bandello. Not far from the Tower of Ziro is the Grotto of the Saints. It is a natural cave that opens up onto a terrace with lemon trees. Its walls are decorated with Byzantine-style frescoes that date back as far as the 12th century, depicting the four evangelists. This cave is actually the remains of the Monastery of Saints Quirico and Judita, which was founded in 986 by Archbishop Leo I. Then there's the Church of Our Lady of Mount Caramel, which was built in 1601. The church's exterior is quite simple, but its bell tower, which was built in the Moorish style, is considered very valuable. Meanwhile, inside the church is decorated in the Baroque style with 15th century frescoes depicting the Madonna. The church also houses a nativity scene that is displayed during the holiday season whose characters are actually portraits of prominent Atrani men and women from the 15th century. We also have the church of Santa Maria del Bando. It was built in the 10th century on top of Mount Aureo. And according to legend, the church was dedicated to Mary to commemorate an incident where the Virgin Mary pardoned a man who was unjustly sentenced to death by hanging. Inside the church is a preserved urine of white marble that dates back to the Julio-Claudian dynasty. It is said that the urn belongs to a freed man of Claudius or Nero. And the inscription on the urn tells us the story of how this person was granted their freedom. Last but not least, 
There are also the beautiful churches of San Salvatore and the church of San Michele Arcangelo. Both of these churches were built around the 10th and 11th centuries and feature interesting sculptures and paintings. San Michele Arcangelo also has a bell tower that visitors can climb and get a fantastic view of the Amalfi Coast and surrounding areas. These are but a few of the things to see in Atrani, and we encourage you to take the road less traveled and see this hidden gem for yourself on your next trip to Italy.